Hey everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. This is Skywalker. Um, we're at a boss. I obviously just died at the boss. This is Wilhelm, a giant metal monstrosity. We're going to go ahead and give this guy another shot. Um, I want to apologize again for the editing problems I had. My last episode was a disaster, uh, so I had to go back and edit some stuff, and we missed a few parts. But let's go ahead and get back into this. Go ahead and switch weapons. Let me see if I can use my maybe a rocket launcher. Let's see. Um, there we go. An explosive damage. Second wind. This guy's almost done. You killed Wilhelm. Holy hell, Jack doesn't stand a chance. Wilhelm dropped a power core. Be sure to grab it. My sensors tell me it's one of a kind. If you bring it to Roland, the sanctuary's shields may never need to be recharged again. Alright, that was that boss. He's down for the count, uh, along with all the trash surrounding the joint. Um, Last episode, if you, if you guys caught it real quick, a special feature. If you're inside Moxie's bar, I included a clips from... Uh, from my little gambling session, they have slot machines that you can use inside that bar that will get you various items, it'll get you iridium, it'll get you cash. Every once in a while they even toss a grenade out at you. You know, just keep you on your toes. Check that out, I included um, that last episode. Also, Mordecai's intro, we did happen to miss Tiny Tina's intro, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I jumped into co-op play thinking I could get you guys some content that was very, uh, comedic to myself and I didn't want us to miss it but we had to because I screwed up somehow but uh, yeah like I said Mordecai's intro video is in there Tina's is not but we will see Tiny Tina another intro of hers later on when we start the the um, campaign Taurus campaign of uh, something or other DLC experimental experimental power core do 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 do. Whoa! Never seen a power core like that. The one you got from Reese is nearly burned out. Why don't you bring it back here? We may not have found the vault key, but at least Sanctuary will be safe a little longer thanks to you. All right, so. Wow! Bravo! Champagne! Cheers! High five! So club! You got the damn power core, didn't ya? You've been warned. The kid gloves are coming off. Tighten up the big boy pants because things are going to get really, really bad for you vault hunters. Sorry about the bad intel, everybody. I really thought the vault key would be on that train. I'll make it up to you all later. Next time I'm in Sanctuary, the beers are on me. What you think, Blowing? All right, so there you have that. The intel was wrong. We could not get the key from the train, so we are headed back to Sanctuary to regroup and discuss some things. Um, I'm looking at my level gauge, and it's looking like we're about to head on into Oasis if this turn-in gets us to 15th level. So let's go ahead and go to Sanctuary. 
If uh, I'm thinking what we're going to do after we hear from the group back at Sanctuary, if we are not 15th level, we will do one optional quest to get to 15th level. And after we are 15th, uh, I will uh, take us to the town of Oasis we'll, where we will start the Pirate's Booty DLC. Wilhelm nearly defeated the other Vault Hunters a couple of years ago. You have proven yourself to be even stronger than them. Well done. I'm going to do some Iridium shopping in a second. I'm trying to figure out where I'm at here. There is Zed. Okay, okay, okay. There's the hideout. So we got to go over here and take a left. Who told you about this place? I got us four. All right, let's uh, upgrade the grenade capacity. Anybody ask? You found that. How much money do I have? <laughs> 6,000. I'm going to show you those uh gambling machines right quick here they are inside of Moxie's bar give him a pull real quick stop talking. there you have that out the side compartment comes a gun and usually out of this front thing you can get money iridium uh, relics um, class mods stuff like that there's Moxie herself no new jobs. Shame. I love to watch you work. If you end up tipping her... Just when I thought you couldn't get any more attractive. If you tip her enough, I think it's around... How does it feel to be in the presence of... 15,000. She will give you a gun. So, um... And that will happen twice. So, uh... Periodically pump some money into that tip jar because, uh... It'll be worth your while in the future. All right, so that was a gambling thing, and we are headed to the main hideout of ours to find out what everyone has to say about our current situation. Nothing for you. Where are you, Mordecai? Is he in here? Turn this in at. Oh, that's right, the power core. All right, I jumped the gun and went into the town. I'm supposed to be just outside the door, so. Here we are. A train to catch. Steal the vault key from the Hyperion train. You destroyed a Hyperion supply train, got a priceless piece of technology, and befriended an insane homicidal 13 year old. Best get back to Sanctuary and unwind. <coughs> New power core? Whoa, that looks like it could keep our shields up for months. Years even. As much as I hate using Hyperion tech, that core you brought us earlier is nearly burnt up. Why don't you pop it out? Now shove in that new core you found harder than a shiv into a truxican sternum. Sorry, old Crimson Lance saying. We have reached 15th level, so right after we're done with a little bit of this, a little bit of that at Sanctuary, hopefully uh, we'll be heading to Oasis to do the... The um, Pirate's Booty DLC, and I've maxed out that Metal Storm, so that's good. You can see uh, it's at 7. It's got 2 extra from my class mod, so I've pumped 5 uh, things into that. Next level, we're looking forward to Battlefronts, Longbow Turrets, or Steady. 
So we'll take care of that another time. Let's get back into this. Okay, I think we're in business. What the hell? Hey, you know, I think it's finally time to tell you that little secret. Angel's working for me. Lowering Sanctuary's shields, Jack. Executing phase shift. That's not a power core! Raiders, the shields are down! The shields! Nicely done, Angel. Now, let's kill ourselves some Vault Hunters. What the hell? Did something just get through the shield? Shields down, Rowland! Oh man, somebody start getting everybody underground! Everybody, I've got a really bad idea. Scooter, get Sanctuary in the air. Roland, get me some Iridium. Uh-oh. Pretty sure we can't do that without killing, I don't know, everyone in the city. It ain't ready to fly, Lily. You got your order, Scooter. Move! Take me in the center of town! Now! I'm gonna need your help real bad! Alright, so stuff is heated up here at Sanctuary. Um, let's go ahead and meet the town mechanic, Scooter. Okay, uh, if we cycle the ignition prime... Shoot, I, it'll get us somewhere! So we have to cycle the ignition primers right quick. Things are hectic. We're getting uh, shots from the sky. Love that. It's, it's, this game is awesome. Don't worry about me. Grab as much iridium as you can carry. Get it to Lilith. You've got the iridium. I need it. Get to the center of town. So as you can see, we've gone through some serious changes in the center of town. This apparently can take to the sky, but we have yet to see it. I've never used this much. You might want to hang on to something. Accident. I'll see you on the other side, though. I promise. Hit it, Scooter. <laughs> Man, this is one of them moments. Catch a ride. Well, there it does go. So now Sanctuary is taken to the skies. Well, that was intense. I know you're angry at me right now, but we don't have a lot of time. I'll explain everything. Just get to the fridge. It's the only way to reach the highlands. I detect Lilith might have phased your city there. All right, so Sanctuary has taken to the skies, and Lilith ended up teleporting the whole city 
to another zone. So this is a perfect chance, since we have no idea where Sanctuary is at the moment, to switch on over and um, do the DLC, the Pirate's Booty DLC. I know I'm leaving us at a serious cliffhanger, but uh, you know, the day's been saved. Lilith has saved Sanctuary from the Hyperion Moonshot Blitzes. Handsome Jack is a little flustered because we happen to have a siren at our disposal. So let me get this car and find ourselves a fast travel station somewhere. And we will see the intro to that DLC and we will be doing that DLC, uh, the Pirate's Booty. I love the way you Vault Hunters just up and trusted Angel. Ne never occurred to you that she was working for me, did it? I did the same thing to the last four Vault Hunters, but I'll, I'll be entirely honest. Tricking you guys this time? <laughs> Way funnier. Alright guys, I hope you enjoy this. I know I did. Um, I've got this maxed out uh, as far as DLC goes. As far as I've uh, been allowed to have Oasis Hunter's Grotto and uh, the Badass Crater Badassitude along with the uh, Mechromancer DLC. But we're going to go ahead and check out Oasis. So for you know like the next couple episodes we will be doing the story of the Pirate's Booty and we'll be leaving the main story behind. So I hope you guys enjoy. little change of pace for a little bit <clears throat> we can't look forward to a uh, new vehicle which is only accessible in Oasis the skiff will be handling that in just a short while a long time ago there was a big pile of treasure in the desert and the Volt hunters found it and killed all the bad guys the egg no, 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 that's not how you start a story. I thought it was pretty good. And I think you're not getting fed this week. No, this is how you start a story. Legends speak of Captain Blade's lost treasure of the sands. Of a prize so great that men would turn their sands red in pursuit of it. Of a pirate queen, courageous and deadly, who would stop at nothing to find it. Of a monstrous leviathan. Of the Vault Hunters who journeyed to the desert town of Oasis, not knowing the horrors that would befall them. See? That's how you do it. Mine was more succinct. Your life's gonna be succinct, you dirty little orphan. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome to... Welcome to my lovely town of Oasis, stranger. Now, if, if you could please... SAVE ME FROM THE FILTHY SAND PIRATES TRYING TO STEAL MY WATER! Welcome to Oasis, guys. I am almost to the 20 minute mark, unfortunately, but we will check out the very beginning of this. We've heard from Shade a second ago. A character we have yet to meet. This game is just full of surprises. So now we got pirates in the zone. No, no bandits, but pirates. And a swabby. Rap scallions, even. <laughs> Making quick work of these guys. Got some iridium. Who is this down here? Oh. 
No beard, eh? Make quick work of this guy, hopefully. Okay, um, I'm going to drop something real quick. Like I said before, we're coming up on the end of this episode. I just want to show you guys uh, one character we're going to be dealing with. So let's run on over here and see an intro, hopefully. And then I will cut this short. I am Shade, and you, you are the coolest person I have ever seen. Please don't go. Please. A warm welcome. You've cleared oasis of pirates and met the eccentric Shade. Now it's time to roll up your sleeves, metaphorically. Get dirty, metaphorically. Are we doing a staring contest? I will win. I am super good at staring. And properly begin your quest to find a bullet of loot, not metaphorically. Sounds good. The townspeople of Oasis, thank you. If you're looking for the treasure of the sands, you want to talk to Captain Scarlet. She's set up in Wormwater. You'll need a sand skip to reach her. Use mine. It's the least I can do for the stranger who saved the many living people of my town. Oh, you're so cool. All right, so uh, next episode, guys, we will be doing My Life for a Sand Skiff. This has been Skywalker, and I will see you guys next episode.